Wife stops bringing husband sandwiches to work for this jaw-dropping reason. At first you might think this is going to take some sort of feminist route, where she realised how she's a stunning and brave whammon and shouldn't be making sandwiches in some stand against patriarchy, blah blah blah. But the real reason is so much better and pretty fucking hilarious. But before we drop what that reason is, let's get a little bit more background to the story. A wife has revealed the shocking reason she stopped taking her husband's sandwiches to eat at work. Sharing on Reddit, the woman said she started preparing his daily lunch to save money. After learning that he was spending 20 bucks a day on his fast food meals at work, 20 bucks a day on lunch? So 100 bucks a week on fast food for lunch? Yeah, that's pretty fucked. I mean, unless you're making absolute bank in your job, that does seem a bit excessive. So I'm guessing he's probably a fat fuck, to put it directly. And wifey has decided to not only help him save money, but to help him control his weight by making nice healthy sandwiches. And speaking of healthy, here's a quick word from our sponsor. Hearing, hearing, hear, 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 hearing. In 2000 and current year, it's really co-worker came to visit their home that the wife learned that her husband was in fact selling the sandwiches to colleagues to pay for his fast food lunches. Explaining her story, the wife said the incident has caused serious tension in the marriage. <laughs> that broke your marriage apart? Damn, your sandwiches were that trash that the husband sold your sandwiches to other people just to buy fast food? Sheesh! <sighs> Ooh, how pissed off with your workmate would you be for blowing your sandwich racketeering? What a fuckhead. And to be fair on the wife, yeah, you'd probably be a bit pissed off learning you were being used as a sandwich wench slave, and that all your efforts to help your husband eat healthier and save money were for nothing at all. But then again, he's turning those money-saving efforts into fast food money. You gotta respect the hustle a bit, don't you? True. You can't say he's not crafty. Yesterday he came home with his friend and co-worker, she said. We sat at the dinner table and his friend brought up the sandwiches I make for my husband and how delicious they are. I thanked him. Then he said the price was a bit much. I was confused and I asked him to explain and he said my husband sells the sandwiches he makes to his co-workers then goes and buys his own lunch from the restaurant. <laughs> so this guy thought, if my bitch wife won't let me spend my hard earned money that I've worked for to buy my daily junk food, I'll make her work hard to make me sandwiches and then Damn. I'll sell those fucking sandwiches to make money for junk food. Oh, the balls on him. I noticed he wouldn't respond when I asked whether he likes the sandwiches I make, but kept asking me to make more than two since he was hungry. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. How many bloody sandwiches were you making him? Surely it was at least four or more to supplement his junk food money. And if he's selling each sandwich for, say, five bucks Paying each, they must be pretty fucking good sandwiches. Fucking I mean, they're homemade Go buy a biggie sandwiches. Back from After Wendy's the co-worker left, the wife said sense. she argued with her husband. <laughs> no shit. I was stunned. My husband denied it. I began arguing with him after his friend left, she said. He said there was nothing wrong with it. I told him I'd no longer be making him sandwiches if he's selling them to buy fast food. He defended himself, calling this an overreaction since he's not spending money on fast food and said I was being unfair to start an argument over this. I just walked into the bedroom and stayed there. Then he said I owe him an apology for God knows what and he didn't think it was acceptable of me to lash out and say I won't make him sandwiches anymore. <laughs> That's some fucking quality gaslighting. He's fucking devastated she's cutting off his junk food sandwich money. I don't know, I kind of get both sides of this argument. It's kind of a dick move that he's selling her fresh sandwiches to buy junk food, but it's kind of a good hustle too. I mean, wasn't it the wife in the first place that bitched about him spending all that money on junk food? To sort of judo her argument and say, well, make me fucking fresh sandwiches, bitch, and then go and sell Retro those sandwiches to his dude, colleagues but is imagine fucking how fantastic. much money he's spent. Having said that, he sounds like worms. an absolute fat fuck. He sounds like he could use a salad sandwich or two instead of...
at retro manny this next video is really fucking stupid but i can't wait so stupid that i was in disbelief so i'm donating a little bit more just to show this vid all right you know what i like the fucking the fucking trolley commercials look at this cool look at the scary commercial trolley I love these commercials, bro. Those are my favorite fucking commercials. Trolley, trolley. <laughs> <laughs> 